Hi all, welcome back. My name is Faith Henricks and I'm the naturalist here for Wapalo County Conservation Board. We are here today at Pioneer Ridge in our animal room and today we're going to be discussing and showing you behind the scenes of our animal care program for our educational wildlife ambassadors. Now I do want to clarify that these are wild animals here for educational purposes. Uh, we have to have special permitting to do that. So please do not go out into the wild and find a turtle and bring it home. Um, that is illegal um, and these animals are here for educational purposes. So we're gonna start, we're gonna talk about the box turtles. We have three box turtles here at Pioneer Ridge. We have the Eastern box turtle who I'm holding now. We have an ornate box turtle and we have a three-toed box turtle. And today we're gonna to go over different care needs for our turtles. So first, we're gonna, we're gonna start by talking about the food that our turtles eat. Turtles are reptiles and they are omnivores, meaning that they eat both plant matter and meat. So, types of plants that they really like. They love strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, watermelon, apples, you name it, and they like it. Um, veggies, they really like broccoli, peas, carrots, uh, romaine lettuce, spinach, all those yummy um, vitamin-rich greens. For protein, they can eat worms, crickets, maybe a little small feeder mice, um, slugs, really any in insects that they can find or any small um, animals that they're able to eat. And they're able to eat by using these beaks. So they have really strong beaks and these beaks are kind of like what your fingernails are made out of. Um, so they continue to grow throughout the turtle's life. And as the turtle in the wild is roaming around scavenging for food, their beak uh, wears down naturally. But sometimes when they're in captivity, they just need a little bit more help uh, grooming that beak down. So uh, what we do is we actually trim their beaks and we use that either using clippers or an electric Dremel and just be very cautious and very careful about it. We also have to trim their nails. So along with their beaks that continuously grow, their nails are the same way. And again, sometimes they just need a little extra help trimming those nails. So we give them their extra push. Along with nail trims and beak trims, turtles often need baths as well, especially those terrestrial turtles, those land turtles. So I'm talking the box turtles. Um, and they get really dirty because they're oftentimes burrowing deep down into the ground. Um, and they do this in the wild for protection, to stay cool, and to hibernate through the winter time. So um, here at Pioneer Ridge, to clean our turtles, we give them a nice lukewarm soak. And what this does is it rehydrates them and it also makes it so we're able to lightly scrub off some of those um, old and dead scales and scoots that just need a little extra help getting off. So that wraps up our animal care for our box turtles here at Pioneer Ridge. I also want to mention that our nature center is now open again to the public. So come on out and see the rest of the animals that we have here and maybe take a hike out on our trails. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.